Big up yourself. Hi guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. It's the latest trend with your girl, Biami. Big up, big up, big up yourself for all of my returning supporters listeners subscribers and for those who are new welcome i'm going to be talking about some celebrity news a few things that have been trending recently that everybody has been talking about listen even taking the subject to clubhouse having proper discussions <laughs> oh it is a lot it is a lot before we get into that let's quickly talk about chloe the kardashians of course she trends like i swear every week (laughs) there's always something she recently has spoken out regarding her situation with tristan we all know the situation with that and maybe she's actually done with it now she she may be done with it because she says that she doesn't think Tristan is the guy for her and I think she's gotten to the place where she's finally accepting it I think she knew but you know you have to get to that accepting phase you know like dealing with pain it comes in stages you can't deal with it like at once like we from the outside we're probably expecting her to just throw in the towel and just sis like what you doing but grief comes in stages it's dealt with different stages and one of the stages is acceptance and once you reach that acceptance stage or once you pass that now healing can fully take place and you can fully come in and you can actually move on for real for real she says i remember when he cheated on me right before i gave birth and i was able to still have it in the delivery room and so yes it might have looked strange to the outside world but when my daughter watches my home videos those videos are going to be as pure and perfect as i was able to make them i still think he's a great guy and a great dad he's just not the guy for me when asked about wanting more privacy amid her personal traumas the kardashian offered we all crave those times we definitely do and listen if you are not a parent it's easy for you to have your opinion and also be brutally blunt with it but when you are in that type of situation or if you have ever experienced it or if you are a parent it's not easy it's not as easy to just say just sis just like get get over it and go and to be quite honest i think her creating those memories for her child i think that's I think that's a good thing like she said when she will look back at the videos when she will look back at the pictures she will at least see that daddy was here daddy was here and that's the most important thing let's just quickly move on to um candy candy burris she has been going back and forth with riley's dad for those who don't know candy she was in housewives or she's 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 part of the housewives and she had a child with this man and he hasn't been paying his child support now candy earns money okay she's got the money okay he she earns more than him and this is what he recently had to say it's because her mom put on child support now how you got more money than me they mom and you put me on child support. And Candy is saying, I don't care how well I'm doing, I still need that money you owe me. Okay, don't hide behind the fact that she earns more money. Like, so? Like, you knew that probably when you first got with her, So, but it didn't make a difference. It didn't make a difference. So what you think that because she earns more money that you get to pay nothing and support your child. My friend, with that small money you have, you better support and pay the money that you owe. Like what kind of rubbish nonsense is that? I'm not here for that. I think he should pay the money regardless to whether she earns more money or not. That is your duty and your due diligence and just do what you got to do. Like do what you have to do. 
But let's move on to the UK. Let's move, let's move, let's travel to the UK for a second. Here we have Sasha and Crep. For those who are in the UK, you will know about this. Um, we have a rapper, then we have an influencer. To, they were not, they're not together anymore. They have a child together. And she recently put on um, her snap, basically like a breakdown of the childcare situation, how they basically pay half of the childcare. So she says, number one we co-parent he helped me in the position i am to even be able to pay those fees and manage he's done and still is doing a lot more than a lot of men out here he has set up nyla for life so don't try it please having a child with someone does not mean they must pay for everything she's my child too and this was in response to somebody who had asked the question why is your baby father making you go halves on child support and that's what she responded she's defending him what i love about those two by the way is i remember when they announced their breakup is how they've just been handling it you know, it's like you could just feel the connection. You could feel the love. And if we can feel it, I'm pretty sure Nyla can feel it. And I think that is beautiful. You know, I think that is how it should be. Like, even though you've separated, but you're still creating that environment that is conducive for love to reign, to, 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 to be for your child. You know, he's still looking after both of them, not just Nyla, both of them. He's making sure she's good and he's making sure his child is good, his baby mom is good. Because guess what? If your baby mom is good and looked after, then your child will be looked after. And this is how men have to think about it. Let's just talk about it for a second. Let's talk about it. Okay, listen. You're not with her anymore. Cool. You're not in a relationship. Cool. But at the end of the day, if you see it that way, if your baby mom is happy, if she's comfortable, if she's able to do the things that she needs to do, like, then your child is going to be looked after. Some men might not agree that, you know, once you split up with the baby mom, like, it's not your duty, it's not your responsibility to look after her. Cool, I get that. But if you are in a position to do so, like, of course, this is has to, this has to be done with boundaries, okay? It has to be done with boundaries and it has to be done with wisdom. But I personally feel like if, for example, you can help her in any way that you can, why not help her? Because that will benefit your child. Now, let me make a crazy example. If, for example, she's learning to drive, okay she's not asked you she's paid for all of her driving lessons all of her driving thing everything she's looking for a car now and she's speaking to you about it can you not buy her a car is that too much i don't know <laughs> is that too much because i'm just like listen for example if the car battery dies and she's just in a position where she's struggling can you not buy her a new car battery if she's good, your child is going to be good. If she's struggling, your child is going to struggle. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now, I don't know why people feel the need to be so opinionated about her paying half of the childcare fees. If she can do it, she can do it. Every relationship and family dynamic is going to be different, okay? And just because he's rich or he's whatever does not mean that she can't contribute to her child if she doesn't want to contribute or if she's in a position where she can contribute okay her paying half of the fees is probably something that she wants to do just because you feel like oh he's the man he shouldn't be doing no 50 50 like that doesn't mean that she does not want to do maybe in her heart she also wants to feel like she's doing something for her child she also wants to feel like no you know what i'm contributing to your future i am also um financially contributing to your school like i want to be able to do that me and your dad are not together but i want to be able to have my half in your education in your savings in something like come on like i don't understand please let her do what is happy and comfortable for her to do she's not come out in the internet and being like oh crep does nothing crep like this crep is like that no she's saying that we co-parent co-parent and they're doing it very well from the looks of it okay and if he, it's not like he can't pay for it maybe she 
genuinely in her heart of heart wants to contribute how about that have you ever thought about that have you ever thought about that moving on on the topic of childcare and relationships so Cristiano Ronaldo apparently allegedly reportedly pays his partner around 80,000 pounds a month the salary that he gives to her is for expenses and childcare because whilst he's away she's looking after all of the four children I mean that 80,000 a month that's nothing to him that's like change really and truly in it <laughs> like really and truly but the money is not even the matter because everybody's pocket is is set up differently the point of the matter is is that I personally feel like this is a good thing of course I would <laughs> of course I would think it's a good thing listen okay that's his woman all right that's not to say that she doesn't have her own money just as a goodwill gesture just as a token of my love you know just as a gesture of my appreciation for you Eighty thousand. here you go it 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 literally means nothing to him i think that's love i think that's great like i said for me every relationship dynamic is different this works for them this might not work for you because your uh, your man's pocket is not set up like that. But even if at the end of the day, she's at home with four kids, she's not probably able to work as much as she would be working if she didn't have the kids. But that's a sacrifice that they've made. That's a sacrifice that she's made as a woman to decide that I'm going to have kids knowing full well that having kids sometimes can be a slow back. I'm not gonna say setback, I'll say slow back because it can make things a bit slower. It can make you move a bit slower. The things that you really, really wanna do, it doesn't mean that you can't achieve them, but you will be able to achieve them just a little bit slower or it will take you a bit longer to achieve them. And if your man can appreciate you by giving you, you know, like a monthly um, gift or salary, whatever you want to call it, I think that's beautiful. You know what I mean? I think more guys should be able to do that. I think more guys should consider doing that. Do you know what I mean? I think, yeah, why not? Why not? Let me know your thoughts, though. That's just my opinion. Thank you for tuning in. Please do hit that subscribe button and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bro, 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 bro,